Welcome back to Hot Issues. We've been joined by uh, Director of the Diaspora Affairs at the Office of the President, Akwesi Iwa Ababio. Uh, it's great to have you. Thank nice. you very much Thank for you. coming at short notice. But great Honorable Fils Bafo, I interrupted you. You yes. were uh, saying that the PR campaign was badly uh, done and we could have done better. Yes. I'm, you know I'm a communication specialist, yeah. so I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, I think that it should have gone really down to every single person. If you look at the old pic films of uh, independence uh, um, celebrations, you find out that everybody was involved, involved in it. Um, and and that, that's where I'm coming from, that mm. we should have gone a little bit down, mm. should have went deeper. Yeah. Mr. Bibio, uh, you just joined us. I we're grateful you came. But Thank year you. of return, we've been assessing the whole impact of the year of return. There have been claims and counterclaims of the receipts, 1.9 <laughs> billion, and the numbers and all yeah. of that. Uh, there, there are questions of whether we have credible and relevant data to be able to get the actual numbers. But that aside, I want to find from you what your assessment of the whole year of return, which climax in December, is. Um, thank you. Um, again, let me start off by apologizing for coming in late. I think uh, I was responding to some emergencies. So I've had to come here without my driver, so, um, but I'm here, so thank thanks. Um, yes, my own assessment, my own view of this whole event and you know, where we've come to, where we began from, is one of um, overwhelming in itself that uh, when we started, we were not looking to have that much impact. Mm. We were not looking to draw in that many mm. number of people. You were not looking? It means no, no, you were no, not planning? No, no, not that we were not mm. planning, but the numbers mm. in terms of, we, of course we thought we would get, of, if you look at the estimates, we started out of with about 500,000, yeah. and then here we are hitting the million mark and then well, that sort of thing. So in that respect, that was, you know, kind of the, where we were looking like at. Like kind of rush through? But the whole thing, it's fair to say that people should understand that this is not something that has gone, become a national paper that has been adopted, mm -hmm. white paper, cabinet, you know, come out like this. It is a bottom-up approach. Mm -hmm. So it is what the Diaspora Affairs was doing, what the tourism was doing in normal daily business life that has been crystallized, that has been encapsulated into this year of return. Mm -hmm. So in that respect, it has not... So the person just gave an accent to something. Exactly. That, so uh, at some point, we, we, we really felt through. that, look, we are doing something. Why don't we get our president to, you know, fly the flag for us? You know, do the, this thing for us. So you think, Remember, it, was, the you think first, it was successful? The first, the first um, uh, lunch yeah. of the year of return was done by myself yeah. at the National Theatre. Yeah. Of course, it didn't get that sort of uh, I mean, publicity that we were looking for. Give it to the right man, give it to the president, give it to Nanado, and it becomes a different thing. So at that point, everything is being done to rise up to meet the, you know, the, the whole uh, golfing thing, the ball, the snowballing. So it, it, it makes sense. Uh, is it fair to suggest that this was all overwhelming because yes, you didn't I think, anticipate I think, the I think, numbers? You possibly, because of that, didn't plan for it and didn't whip along I, I, don't, I don't think there was, uh, we would say there was no plan for it. There were plans I mean, thorough planning. with giving the you know, shoestring budget. Mm. That's very little that you could do. So basically, given the constraints, it is only fair to... Chris Buffer won't believe that it's shoestring budget. No, no, it is a shoestring budget. How much was budget. spent on Look, this? My own view, and at this stage, we are trying to see how you know, all the figures would be compiled before one starts banding banding our figures. Off. That's fair. Figures here and there. But the f first estimate of what we had presented what me as an event organizer, I did a homecoming event. I know how much <laughs> you know, I was trying to get money from. Yeah. Not even a single money from government as at this stage, but trying to get sponsorship money from yeah. here and from there. Here. And most of the events have been organized aside. It is the umbrella that we provided, the overarching sort of steering committee, which basically encourage people to come forward and do things. That is how we have managed to do this. So in that respect, the budget has been very limited. There's been a constraining factor and we have to, you know, you don't sit down and brood over what you can do with a big budget. You try and manage what the little you have and that's what we've done. See how much we can do it. These celebrities endorsement that we have been able to get, we haven't put in that much to say, hey, you come here, Beyonce, oh, you, that sort of thing. People have come in at their own, you know. Own will. Yeah. So they, what's, they've what's, been attracted what's, what's by the, what's the, the message. What's the plan beyond the return? 
Of course, that is what the beyond is going to yeah. be coming out. Where the full details is going to be unraveled yeah. sooner yeah. for people to know where we will be going. I guess now that, like Bafu is saying, we've been through this. Even though, yes, the previous examples were there for us to have also as known guide. As, as a guide. Of course, this being a recent thing, mm. you know, that is certainly going to inform how everything is going to unravel. Right, Honorable Fris Bafu, uh, when we, we started talking about uh, this uh, year of return, seeming to be focusing on only Accra. Do you think that a lot could have been done to give it more of a national presence by getting all the coaches of course, involved, uh, getting all the various places? If you're going to Bogatanga, you know you're going to get a basket here and there. Definitely. You think uh, we fell short of that? Yes, we did. And, uh, you know, when he was talking about a shoestring budget, I mean, I, I never ever worry about money when mm. it comes to events, mm. especially when you, if you had um, an understanding of the kind of uh, market out mm -hmm. there. Yeah. All right. You have to anticipate and that the, the impact. This the impact. Could bring. Look, Ghana has always been the black star of Africa. Of Africa. All right. And it was something like a renewal. And I did you know, actually earlier on say that say it, the yes. president has done extremely well great to throw himself into it and was a great initiative. But the thing is that we all should we also should make sure that when we're doing these kind of things, I mean, when you're having a party, all right. And I know we've had parties where you'll have gate crashes coming in, mm -hmm. but you have to take that into mm. consideration, knowing the kind of thing that you've done, all right? Uh, and I, as I, I said, I'm not faulting anybody. I'm yeah. just saying that we have to have a different approach. And yeah. if we looked at the continuity of the various um, diasporan, uh, pro-diasporan events that we, we wanted, we could, have, we could have done it. I mean, we could have helped. I mean, people were there to help. Mm. And, and you, actually, you don't pay celebrities to come because when you do that, then it, 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 it loses its credibility. Yeah. It's good that they've come on their own, mm. you understand. But I'm just saying that there is more out there, you know. I mean, we're not looking after our cultural sector as well as we should. And it is not only limited to this government. It's a previous government, too. That, you know, it's something that you can take for granted. You can't take it for granted. You can't take it for right. granted. And that is where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not critical of the no. initiative yeah. at all. Yeah. I'm just saying that we could have done far, much, far better. And it's better. not about a budget. It is about the will. Mm -hmm. It is about bringing everybody on board. Mm -hmm. You understand? If you do not bring everybody on board and you narrow it because you're afraid of the budget, then you're in trouble. Mm. Then oh, you're in yes. trouble. Uh, Mr. Bibio, I, I, I remember I went to Ethiopia and I spent three weeks there and I stayed at Hilton Hotel and there was a young boy who, uh, you know, made the effort every day to meet with me at the entrance to the hotel. I mean, the security discouraged me from engaging with that young boy. But the impression that young boy had of me was how much he knew about Ghana after learning that I came from Ghana. And I was impressed how much he knew about the history of Ethiopia. He became more like my tour guide and took me to places at no cost. And this was a boy enjoying it. And whatever money I gave him for the three weeks period, I did so willingly. We didn't get that kind of excitement from everyone like that with a year of return. Um, I think uh, perhaps uh, that is going to be difficult for me to be able to either, you know, endorse, mm. as you've said. Or say. say because, because that would not I be a policy not direction. Receiving yeah. Yeah. But seriously speaking, right from the beginning, the tourism industry, the tourism uh, GTA, made the effort we do in all the tourist uh, guides and all the companies that are involved in tourism to conscientize them, to perhaps... With hindsight, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit more or perhaps some more efforts should have gone into it. But, you know, some efforts were made. We knew they were the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. We knew they were the key players. We knew they had a role to play. And they were all drawn in. We had series of, you know, meetings with them. The hoteliers, the, you know, you name them. Almost everyone was drawn in. To, to, to really begin with that sort of I spoke uh, with Diallo, 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 the member yeah, I mean, of the planning so committee. He tells me how you were all over the place. Exactly. Seriously, we go to meetings and I would always insist on drawing people, drawing organizations, you know, to come on board. Because shortly before that, remember, we had done the coming home 2017. And I was, um, you know, key person in that um, year of return. I mean, the homecoming. So we, there was a lot to draw on, as a lot of experience, and we knew about how some of these people had to come in. And that private participation was equally important. I mean, Professor Isi Sutherland, Rabbi Cohen, Gedilai, all these people coming in with their expertise, with their knowledge, 
is something that we, we are proud of. We all know it's not like um, it has been driven along the party lines of only those who are come on yeah. now. Because somebody like um, AC was, you know, a previous, what he called it, appointee of PNDC. She, there she was, a key person who was, you know, vital to us in moving forward and, you know, doing all the things that we did. So, yes, with hindsight, we would always be in a position to see how best we could have, you know, yeah. done it, how best we could have shaped it, how we could have embraced as many as possible. But then there gets to a point where, you know, you need to move on quickly you with what you have quickly. to be able to deliver some of the things. I wish we had a time for it, us People do not realize that, yes, I do, I mean, share that concern, for instance, that we didn't spread things across the country so much. That was one thing that was always worrying me. I mean, I'm a Kumasi boy. I wanted as much to be done as Kumasi. So, for instance, when there was that Kumasi carnival, I was right in there. But people forget that the independence anniversary which we took to Tamale, was part of the year of return. The whole country moving to Tamale and getting involved. For the first time, the people that marched past had a delegation from the diaspora. You know, they had a placard and everything. Diaspora also marching past. So every old thing was even repackaged, was being, you know, Sort of rebottled as you know, so the year of retirement. I, I wish we got a long respect, time. We, but we've I, had I'm the opportunity, our time is but right. rather badly, mm. to spread it out. Mm. But certainly, any next thing that has to be done has to be countrywide. Mm. I, I want uh, to touch uh, briefly on uh, claims that the numbers were exaggerated. I mean, embellished more like, I mean, $1.9 billion uh, as gains from these receipts and the numbers coming in. What would you say about those? I, I, think, I think it's too early to be arguing mm. about these numbers, mm. seriously speaking. The, the numbers that you get, even for those who have come immigration service, it doesn't take them immediately the day or the yeah. month ends so to no. get that figure. Mm -hmm. It is going to come through quickly. Mm -hmm. But then some rough ballpark figure had to be worked with, mm -hmm. had to be sort of used to uh, give an idea as to where we are going. For instance, you know, as crude as perhaps even saying that when people are coming in, you ask them, what is how much they are you carrying, carry, how much yeah, do they intend yeah. to spend. They could they under could, declare, they could, I could come with 10,000 and only spend 1,000 yeah. or come mm. with, you know, even borrow and spend more here. So, so it's too early. It is too early. I think, fair. yes, but, but people beyond, should respect Beyond the zero that. return, what's next? I think, you know, it's in the key word beyond the return. We have only started, you know, this uh, engagement um, um, as, a, as a major policy initiative, which was begun by the pre previous government. So there is a diaspora engagement policy that is going to be launched somewhere as early as this, um, mm -hmm. this year. We were working hard to see how it could have been launched, but given that we were all occupied and so busy, but then the president has assured me that, yeah, we should come forward with the document for it to go to cabinet. In the past government, they had also done all that. The researchers who had laid on had all has done, they've done all the work that they need to do. So it's almost about rubber stamping it. The stakeholder engagement has been done. We've traveled and done some road shows in the, you know, not just so outside, it's, it's but gonna, even in the country. But yes, certainly. That Honorable Chris we, uh, we have to wrap up. But I'll take your final word. I mean, looking at what has been achieved, uh, where we're going by the prescription he is giving us for beyond the year of return. What are your expectations? I believe that it's a great initiative. And I believe that uh, we should also look back um, at previous um, events and then link them. There should be an element of continuity and that we should try and endeavor to bring on people who are capable, whatever their political stance is. Because, I mean, as I said, Seb Kuh was a conservative, but he was put in charge of the London Olympics yeah. when the Labour Party was in power. Well, gentlemen, that's all. Thanks very much uh, for uh, making time to be with us here on Hot Issues. I'm Stephen Enti, and that's how we wrap up. Thanks for your time.